Hello, everybody. So here's Vicki Scatini again. I am bringing you a lot of great information. I have today Justin Martinez. And I am really excited. I got a chance to talk to him a little bit before uh, we start recording. You know how I always tell you I'm like a broken record on some things? It's because of a reason. So wait till you hear from him. He has done a phenomenal job. And just, what is it, four years, no, five, four years, four years, years, he has picked up 13 multifamilies. And when I say multifamilies, I'm not just talking about duplexes, triplex, and fourplex. We're talking about big number units. So I'm not going to spill the beans, but I'm going to let him talk. Thank you for coming, Justin. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Thank you for having me, Vicki. Appreciate that. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, we say we need to bring people that are real, legit, that are actually doing it, and then they have substance. So that's why you're here. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I, I, when I'm seeking out a knowledge and information, I want to definitely be uh, talking to somebody that can not only talk to talk, but can walk the walk as well. Well, I like that. I'm going to have to steal that. Like walk the walk. That's huge. So tell us about what's happened. How did you get started in real estate and share all the information? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it all started like a lot of people. You hear this all time and time again. It was uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki's book. Uh, that, that that absolutely changed my mind, changed my life, life back uh, in college. When I read that, my mindset, my mind shift uh, shifted from uh, wanting to go get a job and, and get, you know, a salary to, you know what, maybe I need to become a business owner and I need to be an investor. And so when I read that book and it, it, it absolutely changed my mind uh, about my life and I, and I was excited for the first time. I'm like, you know, jobs were something that I got excited about. It wasn't in my blood. My DNA didn't excite me, but going <laughs> to be an entrepreneur and, and doing something on my terms uh, really got me jazzed and excited about life. And so from that day on, it, I, it, was, it, was, a, it was a game changer. So of course, uh, in the book, he t- talks about real estate uh, and multi-level marketing. And you know, I dabbled in multi-level marketing a little bit, but it really wasn't my thing. Uh, but for some reason, real estate just really resonated with me, right? And, and it's yeah. something that I wanted to build wealth and I love the idea of creating cash flow. Uh, and so back in 2003, when this was all happening, I went out and got my first rental, uh, part, a rental single family. Uh, and, to, and to make a, a long story short, uh, pretty much for 10 years, I was able to build my portfolio of single family, uh, of, of uh, uh, owner finance to uh, fix and flip, uh, you name it, did it all. And uh, really enjoyed it. it. It was successful, you know, built cash flow. Uh, I, I, of course, had built some equity. But uh, during that time, there's two things that really bothered me. I wasn't creating the wealth I wanted fast enough. Uh, and I noticed that I was spending a little much, too much of my time uh, in this business. Yeah. And, and I'm sure others are super successful with it and do well. But for me, I, I, you know, I, as I got older, my, I was valuing my time a lot more. And I, I just started thinking, do, you know, what, uh, every, what my uh, mentors always tell me is like, you ask the right questions. And so, you know, my question to myself is how can I, how can I be more efficient with this? How can I grow my wealth uh, at a faster pace? Uh, and then and back in uh, 2013, so after about uh, nine to 10 years, I had a chance to uh, get in front of an individual named Brad Sumrock. He, he uh, is a uh, multifamily uh, uh, mentor. And, and, like I, and I'm sure like you tell every, all your audience, find yourself a mentor if you, want yeah. to, uh, if you want to advance in anything in life. And I'm sure a lot of people look at you as a mentor. Uh, but uh, with that, uh, being able to listen to him and see, uh, you know, what the capabilities were in multifamily and being able to scale up and about economies of scale and, and buying these complexes and being able to buy, say, 50, 75, 100 uh, uh, doors at one time instead of trying to buy single family one at a time really intrigued me. And, and at the beginning, when I was hearing this, I was like, I can't do this. This is way too big for me. Like, you know, my mindset was definitely not there. 
but it, but I said, you know what, regardless if my mindset's there or not, I'm going to pursue it and see if I can make this a career and, and possibly, you know, uh, go on to be very successful at it. And so uh, what I did was I, I of course, ha had him become my mentor and I learned this and, and with anything, you got to educate yourself. And, uh, you know, I know you're big on goal setting. And, you know, one of my goals was to own a uh, a hundred unit plus apartment within one year that produced so and so amount of cash flow, and of course, looking that every morning and every night and reading my goals uh, along with it, uh, you know, I, I, yeah. I made it, it made it a reality, right? And so, uh, back in uh, 2015, that's when I got my first deal, an 84 unit in, in Oklahoma City, uh, that I that I purchased for 3.6 million dollars and uh, raised a little over a million dollars from private equity, uh, and and uh, it was definitely a mindset mind uh, shift uh, for me uh, to go from, you know, everything has to be done by myself in single family to being able to say, you know what, I got to surround myself with the right people to make this happen. So in short, that's where my, uh, my career in multifamily started. And it's definitely, uh, it's definitely been very successful since. Well, I am like really, really impressed. I don't know if you know this fact. So I've been doing a lot of research on, people that go to these trainings and whatnot, did you know only 4% of people actually take action from going to these? It's unbelievable. And, and, you know, and oh. you know, it's crazy. It's, it, I tell, you know, uh, and I'll get into, you know, me being a coach after a while, but uh, it, everybody asks, what's the secret formula? You have to be super smart. You have to be, have well, well connections. No, you just have to take action and make it a priority. Take action. You have to get up and work. That's that's what it is. So just the fact for me that you you read the Robert Kosaki and you got motivated from that and you took action yes. and you did extremely well with the single families, which I I like that to get your I call it ground level basics done out of the way and then go into multifamilies. Mm -hmm. I think that was amazing and for you to realize, hey, that's what I wanted to do, and you knew what you had to do, you went and you got yourself a mentor, which I think, can you do it by yourself? You can, but how much time are you adding to yourself just by not getting that mentor? The mentor is going to give you, the ones that are actually doing it, they're going to give you all the tools and save you years, years and times because they've already experienced it. So you not only did it once, you did it twice. You just took action. And you are the, like, like the perfect example. And, and with myself, too, we just don't let failure, you know, failure is never an option. We just know what we want. How did it feel to you, because I, I love to hear this, when you had your first deal and it was $3 million and you're like, oh, my gosh, I have to go raise this money. And then you come up with a million. I mean, oh my, it was, it was super scary. Trust me. <laughs> you know, you, you, you make it a goal, right. To get it. Yeah. You, you said, I'm going to take action. I'm going to make all, you know, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and you, you're more, you know, go get them approach. And then once you finally catch it, then you're like, Oh my God, what do I do now? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, and so I remember when I signed the, the, con the PSA contract on that, I was like, oh my God, what did I, what did I just do? And how in the world am I going to raise, you know, a, a little over a million dollars? I mean, it's, yeah. you know, we're all humans and the, that's immediate uh, reaction that you have when, when you're doing something new. And so, and so it goes back to just facing your fear and just being like, you know what, I made this a priority. I have prepared myself for this time right now. You know, I, I know that there's an unknown in front of me, but you know what, I'm going to go for it anyway and try to make this happen, try to make it work. And I'm, you know, and if, if I learn one thing, I know that right now I'm going to give it my all and raise this money and, and be able to be and have people convinced that they're going to invest with the right person. And so, you know, uh, being able to raise a million dollars, it didn't happen overnight. You know, it take, it took, the steps necessary to be oh, able to of course. relationships, but you do that and you're just thinking, yeah, you know, these people are going to invest with me. But when the time comes, uh, relying on that and just, you know, being like, okay, here we go. It's definitely a scary moment. 
Uh, but you got to take that, that, that step, that leap and just, uh, you know, uh, have the faith that everything's going to work out. And of course, you know, it did. And, and it does. I mean, you, you give it all and it's amazing. Like once you actually do it and, and like every time you get somebody that, that does say, okay, I'll give you this much. I would do my happy dance. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to show you my happy dance, but Oh, I do, I do my, my little happy dance. So I know I love that feeling. And then when you actually close on it, yes. then oh. it's just like the greatest feeling, the greatest right? feeling, the, the greatest, greatest feeling that you I get and, you know, and you I duplicate it. it. Yeah. yeah. And that's the thing is like when you set a goal and, and, and you actually achieve it, it, what it does for me personally, it creates that win. And then you can't wait to create more goals and like be like, Oh my gosh. Yes. Else? No, yes. I want this. I want this. Because if you know you put your mindset to it, and, and you know, here all the time, it's so cliche. Like, well, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. But it's true. And if you see it every day, for me, I'm like, it just that you know, everything that re I revolved around my life, I was like, okay, here's my goals. You know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go after them and achieve them. And then every time you get one, it get, makes you that much more motivated to go after the next. It does. One. It does. And and I like it. I mean, I'm all about mindset and goals. That is just you know, when people talk to me, how do you do it? And well, show me your mind. Show me your goals, and right. and being focused and stuff. If you don't have goals, then you don't know what you're you're going after. And then yeah. everything you do, it kind of surrounds against your goals, and if one thing didn't work, then you switch it. The plan, you know, what is it? If plan A doesn't work, mm -hmm. there's 25 more letters in the alphabet, but the goal never changes, right? Uh, that's, that's totally true. You find a, a, another way to get there, in, you know, round, over, under, whatever it takes in, in the commitment, right? That you're committing and taking action and, and you know that you're going to get it no matter what yeah. obstacle gets in the way. Yeah, and if you don't have that, it's going to be very difficult for you to get that goal. And so, uh, I mean, I'm sure you, you, you know, a lot of other mentors I have like Tony Robbins and Brandon Burchard, you know, you have to have a big enough why, you know, why do you want yeah. this, goal? you know, and if, if there's not a big enough why, it, it's just not necessarily going to get done because when, when the times get tough, it's not going to push you through it. And so definitely want a big enough why you want it for sure. Exactly. And, and just, you know, I just met him today. So my saying, one of my companies, it's called WIT, whatever it takes. WIT, whatever it takes, yes. So you, he just said it right now. So this is just not me coming up with stuff. I literally just met him today. So this <laughs> is huge. Uh, he's talking about mindset. So I hate to be a broken record, but you, he's living proof that he had the right mindset. He was just not going to let failure uh, bring him down. And like any business, you go up and down. So when the down happens, you learn, you fix it, and then you go up. That's all it is. And just be focused. I think it's amazing that you have four years, 13 units, I mean, 13 multifamilies. That is just huge. And then you say you have two more pending? Yeah. So we, we uh, closed a 196-unit uh, in Irving, Texas, uh, Woodside Villa, C plus property, two months ago, and then we have a 172 unit that we're closing at the end of this month, Royal Lane, and uh, off there, off 635 and 35 in Dallas. If anybody's familiar with that, uh, and then we have another one, 200 unit that we're have under contract in Desoto. So you're like, oh my God, how do you have time to do all this? And again, it's a team. I have a team around me that we, uh, you know, I can't do it all by myself. I'm very lucky to surround myself with the right people. Uh, that we work well together. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been, this year has been an explosion for sure. 10 X, uh, you know, growth. And, um, you know, it's something that I, I look back and I'm like, Oh my God, am I actually doing this? You know, I'm just a single family guy that, you know, just was happy to be making, you, you know, an extra couple thousand a month from cash flow to, you know, here we are, you know, continuing to build our portfolio and grow. And so now, at, at, by the end of this, I'll have about total uh, about 1,600 to 1,700 doors total between my investments across the country. That uh, is amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. That is huge. That Thank is you. so good. I appreciate it. It's a, it's a lot of hard work, but I try to, you know, work, work smart, uh, not hard and to, to build the, to build the wealth. So it's been good.
Well, that is good. And that's, you know, multifamilies has been uh, the end thing, what a lot of people want to do. And I think you have your base. You have the single families, and then you just saw your next vision and your goals. Mm -hmm. and, and you can always change your goals, but you are doing phenomenal job. What if, you know, I, I've seen and I've been to a lot of seminars, and people don't, some people, like you said it, you can talk the talk, but you may not be able to walk the walk. Mm -hmm. So this, you're somebody that can walk the walk. Do you um, mentor people? Do you also look like, let's say somebody has money to invest or they want, want to buy some multifamilies? Do you join ventures? How do you work with other people? Sure, sure. So for one thing, you know, education is number one. And, and um, of course, I have my my favorite since I'm, you know, Brad Summerock Apartment Investor Mastery. They're, they're the ones that, you know, I currently am a coach of and, and I'm fortunate enough to work with a lot of students in there. So, you know, if you're talking about millions and millions of dollars worth of an asset here, uh, you definitely want a good mentor. You're dealing with pe other people's money. So you want to make sure you have the correct education. And so, uh, you know, uh, people can reach out to me in regards to that, building their education. And, and if it's something that they want to become, you know, a, a syndicator, which is a person that puts deals together and buys deals like myself, uh, they can definitely, uh, you know, ask me, reach out to me and I can, I can help out with that and lead them in the right direction. And then of course, there's people that uh, are looking for uh, ways to invest beyond the normal uh, investment options out there. You know, most people think, oh, investing, it's stocks and bonds. And, and of course, a lot of people, that's why they do single family. They're trying to diversify and, and build a business that way and put their money into it. And so uh, with the model we have, uh, when we go out there and syndicate deals, um, what we're doing is uh, finding deals, uh, putting them under contract. We'll go after uh, about an 80% loan. Uh, and so the remainder, the 20%, we're raising um, capital from individual investors. And so a lot of these individual investors, they're looking to invest, like I mentioned, beyond the stock market. And so um, with them, I'm building a, a, a relationship with them because we have to stay within SEC guidelines, but I'm building a relationship with them and they're able to invest in uh, the, a certain type of uh, apartment complex and, and we'll, they can invest in increments of anywhere between 25 to 75,000. So you don't have to have like all this money to invest. Uh, but, but what their strategy of course is uh, in the times we are, economy is fantastic, but you know, we all uh, agree that it's not gonna be like this forever. Uh, so when it comes to the stock market, a lot of times people are not able to uh, control what happens and they want to be able to diversify and put it there in, uh, their money into somewhere where they're more educated about and a little more diversification. And so I am totally sold on multifamily investing being an option for that. And so a lot of people do that. And, and, uh, and that's where we get all of our investors from, from our database of people that we've had to connect with and we have a pre-existing relationship with and, and, they, and they know a little bit about investing in, in uh, real estate. And so that's another option that, you know, people can think about doing that. They don't, they can be passive investors. You know, if you don't want to be the person that's out there finding the deals, uh, meeting with brokers, uh, you know, making it your business, you can always be a passive investor and invest in some of these uh, uh, multifamily investments and uh, make a, a solid return on that. And uh, to share with you a little bit, the kind of returns that we give to our investors, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, double digit cash on cash, and then we're hopefully doubling their money within five to six years between the cash flow as well as the sale. So they're our partner on this. They're, they're our owner of the LLC. So uh, I, can, I can get in the weeds with that, but I, you know, I want to speak from a high level and just share with people that uh, they can, people can be passive investors and be owners in the apartments without being uh, actively involved. And that's perfect because a lot of people don't know and they have it and uh, they just need to put their money somewhere. I mean, I think the stock market it goes up and down right. to me. And then I've heard so many things. Well, you know, the market's supposed to go down next year. But if it does, you, we're not doing flips. You're not talking about flips. You are talking about rentals. Apartments are rentals. And I'm fortunate if the market goes down and people start losing their houses, guess what happens? 
<laughs> have more tenants now. Yes. So your market as a rental side is actually gets bigger. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is because people have to live true. somewhere, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the, the types of properties we're buying, by the way, are not like your A class uptown Dallas or you know down you know downtown uh, where they're they're you know uh, three thousand a month and, and they're making a hundred thousand or more uh, a year. We're talking about working class neighborhoods, 60s, 70s, 80s products. Uh, that working class uh, markets are there always always will be a demand for that because there's not a whole lot of more supply of uh, of working class uh, apartments housing coming online so you know regardless if it's a strong economy or a weak economy we feel that of course they'll always be in demand for that and those are my favorite by the way i love yes. those Yes. Those are the ones that I, I like. So that's great. Now, what if somebody does want to invest or whichever one, all the options that you have, how would they be able to get a hold of you? Yeah, so the best way uh, to get a hold of me and, and is we obviously have to connect and, and uh, have a, you know, uh, a substantive conversation about their goals and objectives. And, and I share with my get to know our, get to know each other a little bit. And we can do that through a phone call. Uh, but the best way to do that is, is everybody can go to my website to show you my success. It's uh, uh, www.skycastleproperties.net. Uh, that's my website where I pretty much, I, I have a few deals I haven't uploaded yet because we just closed on them but all my deals are on there uh that show you you know what my success is up to this point uh and then they can email me at justin at skycastleproperties.net as well uh and uh yeah just say hey you know you heard me on vicky's show and uh hey can we can we have a call and i'd love you know i that one reason i became a coach is is i love helping others i love sharing my knowledge i love seeing their success so i'm here to help them in any way possible uh, like I mentioned, Brad Sumrock's my mentor. If they want to gain their, gain more education, I encourage them, you know, to to uh, seek him out, and I can help them with that. But if not, I'm I'm here to to help and and uh, listen to what their goals and uh, goals and objectives are, and I can uh, share a little of mine and see how I can help. So that that's what I'd like to do. And that's key that you know. You would think that me and you had talked before, but I swear to you guys out there, we have not talked. One of the th the other thing I always stress to the fact is keep, you know, you say you love helping people and I always say keep, have your inner circle with the people that are there to help you and, and help you get to your goal. When I came to Jackson and I was homeless and people were able to um, give me a chance. I mean, think about it. I didn't have a job. I didn't have any money, but they believed in me. And those are the same people that helped me get to where I am. Those are the kind of people you want in your inner circle. And, and you're one of them because it's great to have people around you with the same goals in mind. When something comes up, it's not, you're not getting put down your ideas. You never have a bad idea you might just have to tweak it because if you talk to somebody with experience, but ideas are always great because that's how your mind works when you get creative. So it's huge that you said that because I think you're a great person. You have accomplished a lot in a, a little bit of time and you know, you're there for others to be able to help. And if they have money to invest, I mean, this is somebody that's actually doing it has a proven track record. So what better way to, if you're going to get into an investing, if you're starting off, do you just want to be passive income? This is a great way. I mean, there's nothing, nothing else I can say. Just invest with people that are already doing it. Totally agree, Vicki. Yeah. You know, and, and I think, uh, you know, in the situation where you came from and people helping you out, you know, everybody's afraid to ask all you have to do is ask people are always you know willing to help you'd be you'd be surprised how many people are willing to raise their hand and say you know what this person needs help i mean uh you carry it forward right i didn't get here by just by myself of course i you know wanted to work hard but it took a lot of other people around me to get where i needed yeah. to go and i'm sure you're in the same boat and so it just takes asking and when they when you ask and they know you're committed to getting better people are willing to help so that's it you just said it right there you asked and you're committed 
You're yeah. confident, you're committed, and people. It, it is amazing how many people are willing willing to do it. So, I mean, I think you're amazing. I think you've Thank done you. some phenomenal things, and I have a feeling we're probably going to be working together uh, because you and yeah. me kind of think alike. At the, just a little wording you're saying, I'm like, oh, my gosh, they're going to think this is planned. <laughs> but it's not. It's not. I swear to you, I just met him. That's so. awesome. Well, thank you for coming. Uh, if you want to reach Justin, make sure you go to www.skycastleproperties.net, right? That's it. And then Justin at skycastleproperties.net. Make sure it's it. .net. All right. Thank you for being on the show. I really do appreciate you taking the time and talking with me a little bit. And we'll talk Anytime. to you soon. Thank you, Vicky, for having me.